Uh, we're with uh, John Ryan. John Ryan's cooking our dessert and he's also cooked a few other things for us today. Tell us about the, uh, uh, the meals you cooked today and your recipes, why you picked those ones. Well, when Marilyn said, what are you going to do? I thought, well, Stephen's coming to Australia. In Australia, you have a barbecue, it snags on the barbie or chops or something. So I thought, well, I'll do sausages. What's quintessentially Australian? Kangaroo and emu. It's on the coat of arms. What more could you want? Put them on the barbie. Basically, um, you marinate the tempeh and you put it together with um, just whatever seasonal vegetables are around and whatever noodles you like, like um, Vietnamese vermicelli or Japanese udon for a warmer feeling. And you just treat the barbecue like a wok and just toss the whole lot together. That's it. Stavros, tell us what you're cooking today. Well, we're starting off with some calamari steaks, local calamari which has been marinated, the, the, um, the tube has been opened. Uh, and marinated in some dill, garlic, yep. lemon zest, lemon juice, yep. and olive oil. A good old olive oil, salt and pepper, of course. Nice hot fire, it doesn't take long, about five minutes of cooking, and it's almost ready. So well, my second dish will be some salmon with a Japanese inspired rub. That's based on my basic barbecue rub, and that's been uh, seasoned with some bonito flakes, nori uh, seaweed, uh, sesame seeds, and wasabi powder. Why did you pick chuck steak as your cut to do this? Somebody showed me a similar dish with um, Philip steak and oh, you know, just you know, friends and things. With, we didn't have children and families and things to run and um, I just had this stuff one day and I had the chuck steak and said, oh look, I'll give it a go. And it worked out. <laughs> and this is my sort of wet rub. It's made with lemongrass and coriander. Now you can eat my really good garlic. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, I'm just doing some American uh, style ribs with a dry rub and then I sort of leave them with the dry rub overnight in the fridge and then once they've been on the smoker for an hour I start basting them maybe two or three times uh, with uh, homemade barbecue sauce. Well thanks for being with us today all at uh, Cam, Alan, Ruth. Right, absolutely. Um, you've tried now a number of dishes. These are all probably somewhat surprising as per what you'd normally expect in a barbecue. I just want to get maybe a couple of thoughts on this menu so far and also uh, your impression of how barbecue can be used a bit more in a diverse way. I like the versatility of the recipes today where they've incorporated some recipes, they've used the kitchen for example for marinating and cooking the noodles in the first dish and then they're finishing off the dishes on the barbecue. It helps with cleaning up too. <laughs> Alan? Look, I think when you say we wouldn't always find this at a backyard barbecue, I think there are people out there who are so interested in barbecuing, they love it and it's exactly what they do. We just need to get this out to the really wider population to say, this is, you take the flavours that you normally do for your home cooking, you can do it on the barbecue. This, this showcases that perfectly today, it really does. Ken? Alan and I were talking before about how all these different dishes represent the cultural diversity in this country. As we just had a, a brilliant uh, Greek inspired dish, we've had American ribs which are really really wonderful and um, I think it shows how much we've matured as a nation and we've really really come a long way and we've embraced all the ethnicities that, that we have. That hasn't quite hit maybe completely to the mainstream but you know, poco a poco, little by little we go a long way. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I can't tell you how excited I am to be here down under because you guys, like us, you're a barbecue culture. Lee, thank you for making this possible. We're my friends at Barbecues Galore. Thank you, Marilyn, a super big thanks. All the pitmasters, everybody, our wine guy. Thank you all so very much. Thank you.